guys, how are you? Welcome to another video. It's Cody. And I just decided to create a new playlist that uh, it's going to be about some Azure workshops, Azure uh, practice, and some, you know, small uh, scenarios or small topics that we want to share here. Yeah, let's get started. So today we want to talk about GTA just in time access. So this feature is giving, uh, first of all, it's not free so you have to have a defender for cloud uh, plan 2 so to have this feature but uh, what is it so it's gonna block the ssh or RD rdp for your virtual machine and just release it when you need it yeah so the idea is uh, rdp and ssh should not be always open on the internet yeah so we will uh this this feature so jit will block it will close it will uh, protect it with nsg and then when we need it we can request it and for a couple of hours that port will be open we access our machines we do our stuff and then again automatically that port will be closed so let's get started so here if you can see this is the defender for cloud dashboard and this is a the test environment and i have here just in time so configured machines so two of them yeah, you see two of them are configured and not configured are four of them right and then i want to set up just in time access for virtual machine number two and let's see how it looks right so let's go to vms and then we can either configure it from defender for cloud or also from here and virtual machine number two if you go here in uh, uh, configure yeah configuration you can activate it here yeah? enable just in time either from here or from cloud defender yeah defender for cloud but before doing that i want to show you how it looks or what it does exactly if you go here to the network so the nsg of this virtual machine so you can see these are the default rules yeah the, these three are default rules and this is the rdp one which i opened it because uh, once i want uh, when i wanted to create this machine i enabled rdp ports for that yeah i wanted to connect to it and now our, uh, we want to use jit so it, it means another rule will come here at the top and uh, automatically yeah and then it blocks all the RDP SSH connections. And when we want, we can request and we can activate that. Yeah. So let's see how it will be if we go here again, either here from the virtual machine or from Defender for Cloud, the tab I showed you. There is no difference. Yeah. We just enable it. And you see now it's enabled. It's already done. There is nothing else needed. And let's see the new rule in the table yeah it takes a little bit time so once it's there i will come back yeah okay so as you see there is a new rule here you see microsoft defender for cloud and uh, you know this time so it's just blocking for rdp right it's a windows machine so it's blocking rdp and uh, for but if you do it from the cloud so for a defender for cloud you can add more ports to that right uh, but let's see here mm, let's connect to that machine yeah native rdp download rdp file let's connect it and it's trying to connect to this machine you see the ports but it looks it's blocked yeah it cannot connect yeah you can see we could not connect right let's see source type here i want to test it right so we should come here network security group so my address and run the test we should get the error here it should show us why we could not see that yeah it should tell us there was a network configuration okay so now you can see we have run this test and now you can see okay that's why we cannot connect it yeah through rdp so there is a rule for that and now what we can do so this time let's go to defender for cloud and uh, workload protection
okay here you can see just in terms of these numbers it takes time to be updated right so we go here and now this machine so request access and then you can see you want to request for this one my ip and then open ports and now access request initiated yeah you can also do the same here yeah so you come come here and you can request it here yeah Re access request so now the request has been applied there so let's see yeah download the rdp file let's see if now we can test it or now we can connect to the machine or no maybe it take a little bit time so maybe now still we cannot plug in so we give it a little bit time yeah okay so i think just let me refresh it and then we can request access here again yeah now request approved right so now let's go to network to see if there is any changes here now you can see there is a rule yeah so as you see we have two times right so here this one and this one because we requested two times yeah so one of them with this source and one of them with the other one i said it took time so now we have two rules to open this port right but after three hours it will be uh, again uh, closed so let's connect it and now we should be able to connect to this machine yeah now you can see i can log into that machine so the password prompt is there so we can if i remember the password correctly let me just give it a try yes log into that machine so perfect yeah so this is the idea of jit so we can access to the machine for a specific time and then i show you the rules how this uh, function uh, or feature changed the network setting and we requested that or we we enabled that from virtual machine uh, page just to show you as well you can also enable it you know from the defender for uh, cloud so you can select the virtual machine and then you can enable this feature if you go here and vm3 enable g and vm yeah so here from defender for cloud so you have more options so here you can also add ports but if that looks good for you you can save it and then now the access configuration so the jit also is getting configured for that virtual machine so you can see now we have four here yeah? three is added and also here we last time we tried to request from here and also we requested from virtual machine page that's why we had two rules yeah so because we requested two times let me in the comment if you have any problem if you have any other questions so ask me in the comments and i try to help you yes have fun and take care bye bye